Today, dozens of people voiced their opinions about the Parma School District's future. This after a letter was sent out by the Seven Hills mayor expressing concern over the idea of tearing down a high school and financing the construction of a new one. Emma Henderson has the story. The Parma School Board meeting room and overflow space is crowded with parents, neighbors, and concerned citizens trying to figure out the future of Parma Senior High School. Your input is so important and valuable to the process. In June, following the fourth failed bond issue, the district approved a consolidation plan that would include tearing down Parma Senior High. And then earlier this week, the mayor of Seven Hills released a letter saying he believed the district would be eligible for a type of funding through the state that would help them cover renovation expenses to that senior high school. If we don't have open and transparent conversations now about things that are impact what's going on or a revocable act like tearing down a building, that it's going to jeopardize the integrity of the system years ahead. That's why the district held this special meeting. Those in favor of what the mayor found believed it could give them a chance to renovate instead of tear down the old school. Pat Nemeth is in favor of the renovation, but says she would not vote to build a new school. They have capability here where a lot of the other schools are landlocked and can't give us that. Renovation would be the key. This, while those in favor of tearing down the old school and finding a way to fund a new one say the money the district would have to pour into the schools to make them eligible for state funds should go toward a new building. There's some folks that believe that even this waiver would be free. We still would have to pass a bond issue, which is typically, I think it was about a dollar less than if we were to build a brand new building for our students. Ward 8 Councilwoman Linda Kohar says listening to her constituents, there's been a common theme. I've had the opportunity to meet many people in my ward and I see a lot of young families moving in and most of them really, really want a new school. Now, there were no decisions made in today's meeting, but it was made clear from both sides. They say they want is what is best for the students in the district. Neil. All right, Emma, thank you so much for the report.